What's going on, Dragon Ball Super fans? I'm Vertame Gaming here today to present my official review for Dragon Ball Super Episode 22, Change, an impossible revival the names Ginyu. And what an episode this was. This was such a different episode as compared to the Resurrection F movie. And of course, you get to see that as the episode is ending, of course, with Piccolo taking the ultimate sacrifice for Gohan, saving Gohan's life yet again. Such a tremendous and ominous presence that Frieza poses in the series, uh, clearly showing off his malevolent side, his devious side. Frieza made this episode so much more terrifying only because he showed off more of his psychotic side and his obsession with Goku after pretty much beaming Gohan over and over again, which, which, which was ultimately amazing because we never seen any of that happen in the movie, of course. Now, Togoma. Now, Togoma actually proved uh, to be more essentially useful than what how we all believed he was in the movie. In the movie, he was pretty much shot out of Frieza spaceship into deep outer space. Whereas, as opposed to the TV show, uh, he's been putting in more work, especially with Gohan. I mean, uh, there was a sequence where Gohan was fighting him, and uh, Togoma was able to keep up until Gohan became a Super Saiyan and was able to outclass him with ease. But then Frieza just got so enraged on the fact that Gohan was a Super Saiyan, just for the simple fact of him even even seeing a Super Saiyan after so long. Because mind you guys. Frieza has been in hell for so long. The last very known being he actually ever had a glimpse of seeing before he died was Super Saiyan Trunks. And when Gohan became a Super Saiyan, that pretty much triggered Frieza to go all out ape shit. I mean, literally, he shot so many beams right through Gohan's body. Poor Gohan. Guys, listen, if there is ever a time for Gohan to be redeemed, it's going to have to be after uh, the Resurrection F arc because there is absolutely no way Gohan's coming back from this. I mean, even as a Super Saiyan, uh, having his ultimate powers unlocked uh, during the time of the Kid Buu Saga, Majin Buu Saga, he was able to get outclassed by Frieza in his first form with ease, having multiple shots being, you know, just driven right through his body, like Gohan, like imagine Gohan was shot by a gun, I mean imagine someone getting shot by a uh, pistol over and over again, that's what happened with Gohan, Frieza pretty much beamed him over and over again, the, the energy blast itself went right through his body, shot him in the leg, shot him in the shoulder, the arm, the bicep, uh, even in the stomach, and then eventually was aiming towards his head, and then we saw something that we haven't seen in such a long time, Piccolo, uh, pretty much stepped on in and took the energy blast that was meant to go right through Gohan's head and Piccolo took it for himself. He sacrificed himself for Gohan and that was just incredible because we haven't seen something like that in such a long time. It was very refreshing. Uh, way different than the movie. I mean, I, I am actually enjoying the show more than the movie. If you guys are enjoying the movie more than the show, let me know down below. I am more than curious to know on why. Some people might say, well, the movie just jumps right into it as opposed to some people are going to say, well, the TV show is marinating it. Uh, and after after reading a lot of your comments about Gohan and Togoma and Gotenks and stuff like that, a lot of you guys have such interesting opinions because all of your opinions are different. Uh, so let me know down below in your overall thoughts on Togoma being able to keep up with regular base Gohan because like it just never made any sense to me because base Gohan should be more than enough to handle someone like Togoma with ease. Uh, but in the show, he was able to outclass him and pretty much bitch mount until Gohan became a Super Saiyan. Uh, and Goten and Trunks kept trying to intervene and Gohan kept saying no, even a while free pretty much made his speech about wanting to murder the son of Goku and even while he was being you know beamed right through the body with he still told Goten to just stay back, and that was that was such a surreal moment because, uh, I mean, they they essentially ran out of ideas. They didn't have nobody to defend uh, the world from Frieza's, you know, anarchy that's going to come because Gohan was the last defender. Piccolo stepped in. Piccolo got, you know, ultimately dropped, and now we're going to have Goku and Vegeta return uh, to confront the evil emperor himself, and let me just say this episode was amazing. Again, for me personally, I think, with all due respect in terms of character development, in terms of story backgrounds, um, in terms of just the overall pre presentation of the show in terms of the atmosphere and the vibe that we got seeing Goku and Vegeta in like this hyperbolic time chamber like world which was really awesome to see because they were complaining they were fighting and stuff they were training um this episode was for me a five out of five it was amazing again the fights were there the overall synopsis of the story and how they you know came to be was there everything about what made this episode very special was entirely there and uh this was one of the like, well at least for me one of my favorite episodes uh in, in the last few weeks actually so I enjoyed this episode a lot. I'm actually going to do a breakdown review uh, in the next update, which I will do in about an hour, so you guys might want to go on ahead and tune in for that, because I will explain what's going to happen in next week's episode as well. So once again, guys, let me know what you guys think down below uh, on the overall episode yourself. Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Oh, and by the way, mind you, uh, Captain Ginyu finally switched bodies with Tagoma, which was actually very funny, because finally uh, Captain Ginyu is inside a full flesh body, and he, and he went up to Frieza, and he was like, remember 
for me, man. It's Captain Ginyu, you know? And Frieza's like, wow, like, you're alive. How are you alive? Well, whatever. I mean, you're Captain Ginyu. You were a very important member of my squadron, so go on ahead and you can handle the Z Fighters. And that's exactly what happened. So, Togoma, aka Captain Ginyu, whatever it is you want to call him, uh, went up against the Z Fighters, ultimately got bitched by Gohan, and which is going to lead into next week's episode of Vegeta and Goku coming back and confronting Lord Frieza. So, let me know what you guys think down below and your overall thoughts and opinions on this episode. Tune in for the follow up of this, which I'm going to break down next week's episode. Once again, guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys are DBZ fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest news information and updates. If you guys enjoyed the episode, if you guys enjoyed Dragon Ball Super, smash that like button, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more, guys, and I'll be seeing you all in the next update. Take it easy, guys. Peace.